so i'm just getting ready it's early what time is it 11 19 and um i'm gonna attempt to work but i'm not really on the schedule until like later on um it's crazy because i feel like my job is like trying to like punish me because my acceptance rate is low because they send me mostly like really bad trips and it's like bro i'm not accepting this <laughs> like so now they've like reduced the hours that i can actually work which i mean it's fine i've actually been enjoying it a little more working um late night but it's still weird like trying to wait all day and then get up like at night so i'm still just getting ready early and i'm gonna see um how it goes but if it doesn't, you know, go anywhere, I'm just going to go and work out. So it doesn't really matter to me. I'm trying to wear a different scent today because um, I've just been going in on like two cents. So I want to switch it up. I want to put on AC Miyake, but um, I also want a little something extra in there. So. I'm gonna add a little bit of like floral scent to that. Um, yeah, cause this one just like wakes it up a little bit. Hopefully those mix well together cause I'm definitely mixing them. Yeah, it smells good. Um, Y'all, I've literally been using this little coconut oil from Dollar Tree and I use it on my face. It's not breaking me out at all. And I'm enjoying it more than like lotion. So if y'all want to try this, I know some people are probably going to be like, no, get the refined extra pure coconut oil or whatever. But it does say 100% pure refined. But you know, y'all know what I'm saying. It's probably other types that are more quality but um yeah i just found this at dollar tree and i said i'll give it a try if it would have broke me out i would have stopped using it but it didn't so i just you know put it all over like everywhere i would put lotion i didn't even put any did y'all see my last vlog i just uploaded a few hours ago but yeah, I'm excited to like start today's vlog. I'm glad that I'm really getting back like fully into vlogging every day. Not every day, but I kind of do vlog every day. I just don't upload, um, but I still like get certain clips throughout the day. So I'm glad that I'm like being a little more consistent. <laughs> hey y'all, so I just um, delivered this food to this um house and old people are so funny like <laughs> it was an old lady in there you could tell she was like 70 80 and all i heard was her saying who the f is this like when i knocked on the door you could hear her like like she was sitting on the probably the sofa talking to somebody and next thing you know she's talking about who the f is this <laughs> i'm like yo old people are a trip damn like, did y'all order food or what? I don't know why I'm feeling kind of cute today, even though I'm just wearing, like, workout clothes. I don't know. Maybe it's my perfume. Did, I really like that little mixture that I made. I gotta remember it was Issy Miyake and um, My Life by Mary J. Blige. <laughs> so... Like it's floral, but it has some sort of like depth. 
to it. It's crazy because all that shopping I did yesterday, I still feel like I didn't get enough. Like, because I shopped for the entire month. So it's like, like it looks okay, but I know that that's not gonna stretch for a whole month. Um, so I wanna get like more packs of chicken um, more packs of ground beef or like turkey um, and then I know I'm gonna have to get like more salad ingredients later but I can wait for that obviously because that's not gonna like last in the refrigerator so at some point today I'm gonna go back to the grocery store and just get like some more meats for the freezer that I know are gonna like you know stretch and um, my mother also forgot to get her something from the grocery store, so I'm gonna get that too. I hope that I get a nice amount of steps today, but I already know I will at least 5,000. Um, I don't see how they act like you're supposed to get 10,000 steps a day because I still feel like it's pretty hard to get that many steps unless you're like a runner or something. But yeah, I feel like I get a good solid 6,000. Am I even going the right way? Yeah, I can go this way. But yeah, it feels really good in the shade anyway when it, when you get back in the sun then it's like oh sorry <laughs> um but yeah when you get like in the sun then it's hot but not like overbearingly hot i've been pretty busy today honestly like with working i've done i think six or seven trips um, I hope that it keeps going like this though because lately it's just been really slow. My face is super oily right now because first of all, I put coconut oil on my face and I know that's not like something I should have did in like the spring and summer months, but I mean, I don't like lotion. Lotion like literally just makes me sweat. So I wanted to try something else. And that was like, you know, one of the only things that I was willing to try is, you know, oil. So, yeah, I just look a little extra shiny today, but it's not terrible. Um, I've like drank all of my little drinks out of this <laughs> cooler today. I need to get a new one because it's like. I had this in my trunk for a long time so it looks like dirty and it's like cracked so I need to go get I really should just get a better one like a actual cooler that's like small um but coolers could be really freaking expensive like this one was a dollar literally I think I got that like before Dollar Tree even went up to 125 but um yeah, coolers. I've seen coolers that are like $50, $60 and up. So, um, yeah, I'm not trying to get one like that. But if I can find like a cute little $12 one, I can, I can deal with that. I need to go in this building. They have like, um, performances here. She looks cute pregnant <laughs> with her little dress. But, um, Yeah, they have like, what do you call this? Broadway, Broadway plays here. I don't know, I've never been like a play person, like, but maybe I would be into it if I actually like went to one. The only time I've gone to plays are for like field trips in like elementary school. So I would rather go for like some sort of concert or something. Lord, the Tina Turner musical, for real. Like, how they gonna do that? I guess, I don't know, maybe they're gonna play her songs. Moulin Rouge. Kiki White, Raheem Devon, Marsha Ambrosius. I didn't even look at when that was, but I guess it's coming up soon. It's gonna be packed down here. Oh, wait. 
played. Don't tell me that. Look at him, y'all. The cute guy. Uh, I think it clicked it off. But um, y'all know the cute guy that was like a prisoner and then he like came out and got famous. I know he's not about to be like in this because I will come see that. <laughs> I'm not even into him like that, but like, yeah, I'm really not like. I watched this um movie what was the name of that dutch and he played in that but i'm really like lance gross is my um celebrity crush if i had to have like a celebrity crush it would be lance gross because he's just so and i know like he's what is he married i don't know i don't really care he's still cute um so yeah like if i had to pick a celebrity crush it would be him because he's like my type like chocolate but like he looks tough but he also is like clean cut and like you know smooth <laughs> smooth like he's a damn glass of brandy or something but no he's just i know y'all already know i don't have to explain why um if you don't know look up lance gross and you'll see but um if i had to pick one of the dudes from like back in the day i would probably say um i used to really like what's his name from love jones the main character from love jones i really used to think he was cute and like sweet <laughs> i act like i knew him for real for real but y'all know what i'm saying like i liked him in the movie love jones but um i don't know i had a teacher that kind of could resemble him so now it's a little creepy now that he's got older he's starting to look like my teacher um but he's still i'm sure handsome um lorenz tate is who i'm talking about but um what's the other one from <laughs> I never remember people's names, but the one from How Stella Got Her Groove Back, Winston, he still looks the same, and he's like the only one, in my opinion, that still looks exactly the same. Him and Morris Chestnut. So, yeah, he's really cute, too. I do want to get another um, cooler, and I might try to look today. See, that's my problem. Like, when I think of something, I just immediately want to go and try to find it and it's like but i have been you know dealing with this thing over a year now anyway i should be getting b-roll b-roll is pretty crazy like trying to keep up with getting it because you literally have to like take walks and like go and shoot this stuff when you make a vlog like so that's pretty much every time i upload a vlog i kind of want to include some type of b-roll i went and got um more meat to go in my freezer so i got like ground chicken i never buy ground chicken but i'm gonna try it because it was like three dollars and it's not old but it was only like three dollars and something so i was like okay i'll try it and i'll just like season it really good because i don't think that i like ground chicken but i feel like with the right sauce and like seasoning it'll be fine so i got like two packs of ground chicken a big pack of um chicken wings because they were only 11 dollars. once again i was shocked because chicken wings have been really expensive lately um like i've seen them go up to like 22 dollars, i believe recently so when i saw 11 dollars, i was so happy that i was like yeah let me get those i started to get two but I'm trying not to get a bunch of stuff so yeah um then i got some turkey burgers and is that it yeah that's it because i didn't want to get ground beef so i just got that stuff but yeah i don't know what I'm. well i'm probably gonna make some um air fried lemon pepper wings or I should really say lime pepper wings because that's really what I make more often. Y'all like my bag? 
I got this because um, I have those knee boots and I'm guessing this matches. I don't know, it looks a little more beige than the boots possibly, but maybe not. So I'm gonna look at it when I get home. Um, but yeah, I have an upcoming date, so I'm probably gonna wear those boots. If I don't wear those, then I'll probably wear some all black ones. But I'm not sure yet. I'll have to, you know, try stuff on and see what I'm in the mood for. But this is going to be like a more, you know, grown and sexy type date. We're going to be doing that soon. I need to, uh, I need to go get my hair done at some point and I'm going to do it soon. But y'all, I be so cheap. Like I just cannot see spending this money on braids. Like what? They be wanting hundreds of dollars. And I know like it'll probably last for a little while. Um, and it probably would be worth it, but I just cannot see spending that money. Like what? So let me put my um things in here. This is why the battery is always low because I'm just sitting not even using them. People probably are looking at me in this building that I'm next to. Like, who the hell is she talking to? I'm sitting next to a building that has like, it looks like a two-way mirror type of setup. And I always wonder like, are people in there just looking at me and I'm out here like just talking? But I could be on the phone, so it doesn't really matter. Y'all, I made some toast with that bread I showed y'all. What is it called? Homestyle oat, I think. And that toast was like some of the best toast I've ever had. I also like toasted naan bread. Um, I think that's really the best I've had. But that freaking um, homestyle oat was really good today too. But I put butter on it, of course, because I can't just... Like, I can eat dry toast, but nine times out of ten i'm gonna put some butter up there um i feel so sticky but i'm i'm embracing it because when i get home i'm gonna take the best shower so it doesn't even matter i'm just like letting myself stay like this for a while because as soon as i get in that house and be like okay it's freaking shower time because i just feel so sticky like i've been walking um, then I've been working, driving around, feeling like this little debris is just sticking to me now, like, so. Okay, y'all, so I'm, I'm on a hunt for another cooler because I can't just have an idea and not try to go look for it. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to find one that's like as cheap as possible. Um, because it's not really anything that deep. Like I just want it to be in my car for the summertime. Um, and this one also gets on my nerves because it keeps like tipping over while I'm driving. So that's like what's really making me want to look for a better one because this one just keeps like tipping over. And then like I said, it's cracked, it's like dirty looking. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go to um, Dollar General and see what they have because they're like a step up from Dollar Tree <laughs> but um if they don't have anything in here I'll probably maybe look in um Family Dollar I try to avoid Family Dollar because they're so first of all they've just made the store into like a big maze and I don't like you know feeling like I have to go all around the world just to like get to a certain aisle like just make your aisle straight so I can you know go where I'm trying to go but they've just made it like so weird in there and then their prices aren't really that low I don't feel like or not low enough to even you know go in there and be annoyed by it so But yeah, I'm just going to look for this cooler. If I find one, I'll show y'all. Tomorrow.
some food um i have to wait for the person to come out so so i just went to the restaurant and that restaurant always acts like low-key racist in my opinion but anyway there's like a counter and of course you know where the customers line up hold on y'all okay so yeah and that restaurant always acts low-key racist because it's been like times that they just straight up like didn't give me the food that I was asking for even though it was sitting like right there. So um, basically today, you know, I go in, there's nobody up at the front, but I'm right at the counter and the lady she just comes and like goes and does something behind the counter and then just proceeds to like leave without even like acknowledging that I was standing there. So basically I just looked at the um, little ticket that was attached to that pizza and it was the customer's name. And I just nicely reached right on behind the counter and just took it like i mean nobody's about to be wasting their time sitting here waiting for you and you're like you know and then she was just walking super slow like no type of you know energy no type of hustle no nothing like i was just about to be there all day waiting for her yeah so i just reached right on back there and got it myself like okay whatever nobody's about to wait for you um Cause she just was strolling with it like she wasn't even just doing like a normal pace of walking like she was going real slow like she just didn't give a damn if i was standing right here so i said well i don't give a damn if you get mad that i took this pizza but i'm taking it when people do stuff like that i just like match their energy like oh, okay you don't care i don't care <laughs> um so now i'm just headed back you know to my normal little post but yeah i'm just listening to 21 savage album um i don't know the name of it really <laughs> but it's the one with glock in my lap <laughs> that's like the main song i keep putting on replay i don't know why i'm so like i'm so innocent but so gangster at the same time <laughs> but um no like my music the choice of music that i have is mostly very explicit like hood gangster like trap music so i don't know but um i can also listen to like bossa nova and like cafe music and freaking classical i can listen to everything pretty much like when i was younger i really used to like like cold play now I listen to like glass animals and um, a lot of stuff. Um, so my musical palette is very like, I don't know. I guess I can listen to pretty much everything, but now I can't just sit there and listen to like rock and roll or country or like what else? I can even enjoy like when I used to go to like, <laughs> I hate to say this word, but I'm just gonna say corner stores. I was about to say bodegas. I cannot stand that word just because of that song. I put on my jewelry just to go to the bodega. But anyway, um, when I used to go there, like I really enjoyed like the Spanish music they would play. So maybe that's what got me into like bossa nova, even though it's totally different. Um, bossa nova is like a Spanish jazz. So, I always find myself playing that when I'm like in my kitchen cooking and stuff. But when I'm driving, I have to listen to like gangster music. Like, <laughs> I have like different music that I listen to based on my activities, if that makes sense. Y'all know what I can't stand. Y'all know why I started really listening to like gangster music because I feel like that's where you hear like the truth and how men really think 
about women but I can't stand when like men make these songs and they're like oh you know I love you so much but then like in real life they're not acting like that and I just feel like they're basically using our emotions to like sell albums or make money but yet they're not really demonstrating that in real life so it's like okay well let me just listen to how y'all really feel you know because i just can't get with like the fake stuff like the next day <laughs> Um, when he lays up here he doesn't have like any light source when i turn off this main one so basically i just bought some little strip lights just for like nighttime purposes i tried to put that little thing on the wall and he can like flip it on and off at night but as you can see that's like tiny so that doesn't really do anything so i just want to get up here and put these up i'm not going to record myself doing it but i'm gonna probably put them like across this wall and then just plug it in so y'all i didn't expect it to look as good as it looks but look i was so surprised when i like got from under the bed plugging it in um i might change this stuff that's up here because now it's like you know not fi fitting the vibe but um i might put our pictures back in there because i feel like that'll be cuter um but yeah, he's going to be excited. And now I feel like he can actually like stay in his room and I won't feel like it's too dark in here because um, he usually sleeps in the bed with me. So yeah, I'm really happy about this. This was $9.99 at Big Lots. Um, I had to kind of use my brain because I was trying to freaking <laughs> extend the actual plug all the way to the... um outlet but i was like let me just get like an extension cord and put that part down there and then i had more lights to work with so this is how it looks i'm so glad and happy with the results and i know he's going to be excited and the good part is that he really can't see this when i turn it off so like he won't just immediately know when he walks in the room because like you can't see anything but then when I turn it on, he'll be like, what? <laughs> so, um, yeah, and then you could change the lights. I mean, change the colors. This one is really cute. I don't know why I always love like purple lights for some reason, but yeah, this is dope. You ready to see a surprise? Yes. Okay, go in your room. <laughs> that, that scared me. It's cool, ain't it? Yes. Get on the bed. It's crazy cool. <laughs> it's crazy cool? Yes. <laughs> oh my god, the light. Uh-uh, you can't pick it up. This just stays stuck over here so I can um control it from here. <laughs> When it's red, so dark when it's red. <laughs> it's cool, right? Yes. Now you got a night light so you can sleep in your room. <laughs> I am so happy. I am so happy. <laughs> you so happy? Uh-huh. Oh, I just put a piano app on my phone, right? And I'm bugging out because I'm just like, you know, playing around with it. And I just started like playing 2 Chains. I'm different. 
and I'm so like blown away because I'm like one, two, three, four, five notes in or something. Now, I don't know how to play the piano. I'm just like playing around with it. I've only had this on my phone for like five minutes, but I'm about to screen record and like, <laughs> this is so fun so far, but I'm about to screen record and let y'all hear what I'm talking about. Cause I'm like, how did I figure this out? But hold on, I'm about to um, press screen record. <laughs> So y'all tell me why I'm up here trying to play a freaking Dr. Dre beat now. Um, and I'm going to screen record. I know I'm going to mess up a billion times, but I'm going to try to just <laughs> show y'all a little example of what I'm doing. But um, I've only known how to play like Mary Had a Little Lamb for years and years. So this is like really advanced, but um, it's just fun and it's getting really addictive um i looked at a little tutorial for this one though but of course like i only looked at it a few seconds and um now i'm trying to like freestyle and do it but i'm gonna keep this app on my phone and like keep doing this because i feel like this will really be a nice little hobby to have like i may be around an actual piano at some point and like really know how to play this stuff um or I might just buy like a little keyboard if I really get into this. So yeah, let me um go ahead before I forget how to do it. <laughs> So y'all I'm like cracking up as I'm trying to record this because first of all, in order to get all the keys on the screen of the phone, I have to put it on like narrow, which means that the keys are going to be like tiny. So it's making my fingers like bump into the other keys and stuff a lot. So um, I feel like if I was on like an actual piano, I would be like ripping this right now because I would have actual space to like, you know, lay my fingers on the keys. But it's like because it's so skinny, like... <laughs> I'm hitting like two and three keys at a time. This is really fun. So I'm just gonna um, keep playing around with it. Hopefully I like really learn how to play this song, but I'm not going to try to do the whole song. I'm so like not ambitious, but um, anyway, I'm just enjoying like doing the little intros of these um, rap songs. But anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here because I feel like it's just getting <laughs> like really silly now. But um, y'all let me know if you play any instruments or if you know how to play the piano, especially and um, what inspired you guys to play. And um, I'll see y'all on the next vlog. Um, once again, if y'all have any Q&A questions, let me know. And I'll do a Q&A soon. But yeah, I'll talk to y'all on the next vlog. Bye.